Recall uh, value numbering can optimize away this expression since it's fully re redundant. However, here we destroy the value of the expression since we give it uh, one of its operands a new value. And therefore, this uh, occurrence of the expression cannot be optimized away by value numbering. Uh, as we will see soon, it can be done by uh, PRE. Okay, so the key idea is to introduce a new variable. I should first mention that the Silicon Graphics compiler does not use a three address code statement, but instead expression trees. And therefore it is needed to introduce a new variable. We uh, use uh, this new variable even though we use uh, three address code. But uh, the implementation uh, has, can be ad adapted uh, to simplify this since we already have a variable in uh, three address code. Okay, so uh, the reason why this is called h is, called, is that uh, this is a hypothetical variable. And when we assign, uh, I mean when we compute this expression, we uh, simply save the expression to this uh, variable. There, there, and there. And also here. What we do here is uh, we destroy the value of a plus b since we uh, overwrite a. And what we actually do is, I mean what is done in SSA3 is to invent a new value called bottom which uh, means not, I mean it's a uh, not existing value is what it means. We can give h the, the variable, uh, sorry, the value bottom when a plus b is not available, such as here. And that's, the, that's really the, the key and beautiful idea with SSA3. So, since we have an assignment to h here, we need a fee function for h here. Uh, this fee function uses uh, capital T and uh, it is used essentially in the same way as the normal fee functions, but uh, to uh, see which one is which, we use uh, uh, capital T instead. And then at the end of SSA3, they are, I mean, how the implementation uh, marks this as big or A or or, or normal fee, uh, fee function is uh, irrelevant, but we translate this to normal fee functions. So essentially they are really the same. Anyway, what is needed here is that we can, what is important here is that we can take these fee functions and see where we can insert the expression to make this uh, A plus B fully redundant. And it turns out that whenever there is an operand to this fee function which has the value bottom, then it might be a good idea to insert a plus b here. We will see exactly uh, why and when later, but this is the, this is, um, the real uh, key idea to, to SSI3. Uh, where the value is not available, we have a bottom valued operand and for some of these we insert the expression. I mean create an instruction which computes a plus b. And then uh, subsequent a plus b might be redundant and can be eliminated. Of course it's necessary to uh, keep track of which variable version we have. Okay, so SSA3 performs the following steps for each expression in a function. So it's quite a lot uh, that is performed for each uh, 
I mean, uh, for, for every expression, uh, I mean, unique expression, uh, where we have a variable plus, uh, uh, I mean, some operator and uh, another variable. And this is a, a case where we actually need to know which variable this is. Uh, I said previously that when we translate a program to SSA form, the renamed variables, they can just be temporaries. But SSA pre needs to know which ones are which. I mean, what they ori or originate from. So it's not uh, sufficient to only say uh, temporary one plus temporary two etc. We need to know that they are from A and from B. Okay, so uh, the first thing we do is to insert such fee functions. And where should we insert them? Well, it is in the uh, dominance frontiers of uh, the expressions. Okay, since that, that is where we uh, assign a value to, to h. Okay, then what we do is to do redo SSA renaming for this variable and for all other variables again. This is not part of the efficient algorithm, but it's just to, to explain what can be done. But the efficient algorithm, uh, it just keeps the, the renamed variables and their indices and uh, figures out when which uh, expression is available at with which version of the operands. Okay, so what we then do is to uh, compute something called down safety. And uh, the purpose of that is to be sure that we do not insert the expression unless it's certainly needed. Okay, uh, we will come to that. And what we do then is to uh, compute for which uh, such fee functions the expression can be available. Okay, uh, in order to reduce um, the extent uh, on which a temporary variable is, is uh, needed to be put in a register, we try to do this as late as possible. So for each fee function, there is also um, a computation of an attribute called later, which means we can uh, do it later on in the program. We don't want to do it as early as possible at the beginning of a function, since that would be a waste of register resources. And then, in, in two steps, we modify the code. The first step is what we will look at. The second step is a bit tedious and is best uh, studied when you implement the, uh, the code. Okay, so uh, we will not uh, look at it in the, at all, uh, actually, in, uh, in this lecture. It's not uh, complicated, uh, um, but it's just tedious. Okay. Uh, 